now we can assign the IP address to network 2 the net ID is 64 so here I will give 200.200.200.66 65 can be assigned as default gateway subnet mask is 192 200.200.200.65 200.200.200.68 sorry 67 subnet mask is 192 default gateway is 200.200.200.65 here i will assign 68 as an ip address 200.200.200.68 subnet mask is 192 default gateway is 200.200.200.65 200.200.200.69 Subnet mask is 192 Default gateway is 200.200.200.65 Here I will assign 70 200.200.200.70 Subnet mask is 192 Default gateway is 200.0 Sorry 200. Dot 200.65 now we can assign the IP address to two different networks normally switch have one broadcast domain and each connected port have individual collusion domain but here the switch have two broadcast domain because in switch we can create two different networks one is VLAN 10 and another one is VLAN 20 ok now we can ping neighbor system so IP config 200.200.200.2 is an IP address of this system that can be communicate with this network ping 200.200.200.5 yeah we can get replay from that PC now VLAN 10 can be communicated with VLAN 20 the IP address for VLAN 20 is 66 ping 200.200.200.66 we cannot replay from that network because VLAN 10 is a network 1 and VLAN 20 is a network 2 so both of these networks are different network so using router only we can communicate one network to another network so here I will use router to create an inter VLAN okay in normally we can use single switch we can create one local area network and switch that can be connected to the router and that inter in that interface we can give the IP address that IP address is common for that whole network so here we can create two different networks so in VLAN 10 the net the in VLAN 10 the default gateway is 1 200.200.200.1 and default gateway for VLAN 20 is 200.200.265 but here we can connect it only one interface but we can assign two default gateway IP address so first of all that port is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 first of all we can go to that interface and give no shutdown to enable that interface next we can create inter vlan inter vlan means using single interface that can be subdivided into multiple interface for example here we can use fast ethernet 0 slash 0 port we can connect that switch to router 0 so that port can be subdivided into fast ethernet 0 slash 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 so using single interface we can create two ip address sorry we can assign two ip address 
so the syntax for creating inter vlan is n cap sorry first of all go to that interface interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 1 so next we can give encapsulation dot 1q and give the vlan id vlan id is 10 now we can assign the ip address ip space address 200 dot 200 dot 200 dot 1 subnet mask is 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 192 no shutdown exit again we can give that interface interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 2 encapsulation the syntax for creating inter vlan is encapsulation dot 1q give the vlan id the second network vlan id is 20 now we can give the ip address ip space address 200 dot 200 dot 200 dot 65 sorry subnet mask 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 192 no shutdown exit okay now we can assign two ip address vlan 10 and vlan 20 let's we can see using for Using fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, we can subdivide it into that interface 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Now it can be communicated with neighboring router. The VLAN 10 can be communicated with the VLAN 20. Before that, we can give trunk port because here fast Ethernet 0 slash level can be given as a trunk port. Why we are using trunk port means that single interface it carries the two different network frames VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So we can give that port as a trunk port. If you are not giving trunk port means it cannot be working. In native VLAN means we cannot give trunk port because in all the ports are in native VLAN means we cannot give trunk port. For example, the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 can be connected that fast ethernet 0 slash 1 that can be connected to another switch fast ethernet 0 slash both ports or comes under the same vlan means we cannot give trunk port if you are giving trunk port means we can carry the different network frames if the if that interface carries the different network interface means we can give that port as an trunk port so this interface carries the vlan 10 and vlan 20 frame two different frames can be carried through this interface so in this port we can assign as an trunk port so now go to that interface configure terminal interface fast ethernet 0 slash level now that interface can be assigned as an trunk port the syntax for assigning trunk port is switch port mode trunk now that port can be assigned as an trunk port let's we can check show interface trunk so here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 so it is a trunk port ok now vlan 10 can be communicate with vlan 20 now we can check the port is booting on ok now we can check ping 60 6 yeah we can get reply from that pc i will connect ping 200 dot 200 dot 200 dot 67 yeah we can get reply from that pc now vlan 10 and 20 can be communicated vice versa so using static vlan we can use the switch efficiently and we can reduce the traffic and we can increase the speed of data transmission